Hello, Hello everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going on an adventure. We are going on an adventure. <laughs> Adults only adventure. Yes. Little Miss Ruby has a babysitter for the night and we are going out to do this really, really cool experience called Dining in yes. the Dark. It's super Ooh. exciting <laughs> and mysterious. Yes. We have literally no idea where we're about to go eat. Yes, I've, we've heard of this experience in many different places before um, and we've always wanted to do it because it, it sounds just so interesting and it just so happened that Malaysia had a dining in the dark experience here and all the food is halal so we can eat everything that they have <laughs> yes so what a dining in the dark experience is it's kind of self-explanatory <laughs> but you basically I think are like blindfolded or it's like completely dark in the room and you you dine you just eat <laughs> and you have no idea what you're eating you just try new foods I guess and let your senses come alive yes, yeah. <laughs> we're super excited about it i don't know how the filming is gonna go we wanted to show you what this experience is like so yes, sure. um hopefully it's fun and we enjoy the food and i wonder if we'll be able to guess any of the food do you i think, think we, we will, will yeah i think I we eat enough to where we yeah. could pick out flavors and stuff yeah um also it's like a seasonal menu so they're constantly yeah. changing it you can't even like try to like find out what it is which True. why would we want to it True, takes yeah, us away yeah. from the experience exactly let's let's roll let's go We have made it to our dining in the dark experience and they have just given us these drinks that are non-alcoholic but we have no idea what's in them <laughs> and we have, to guess. we have to guess what's in them. Let's go. Mm. Lemon, lemonade. It tastes like lemonade to me. It tastes like orange, like orange and lime juice. Do we have the same thing? I swear this tastes just like lemonade, the powder lemonade that you mm. get from back home. It tastes good. So first we will going to warm up your sense of taste. Okay. Okay. So by the way, can you tell me what's inside the drinks? Is it lemonade? I think it's orange it's and lime. Orange is correct. <gasps> lime, no. Oh, I have. Anything else? Lemon and orange, maybe? Right? Uh, lemon is correct. Okay. One more. One oh. more? Ooh. Wow. Orange, lemon. Oh man. I have no idea. Grapefruit? No. Maybe? No. Just sugar. That's all I can. Cucumber? No. Dang. No. Right. The last one is passion fruit. Passion. Passion fruit. fruit. I wouldn't have guessed that. Wow. So just to warm up your sense of taste, because our menu is a surprise menu. Yes. Perfect. And we will reveal only the menu after the dinner. Oh, okay. okay. Very so cool. Next, I'm going to warm up your sense of touch. Oh, okay. Right. okay. So I'm going to rumble all of this here, and then you have to put back according to its shapes. Okay. But Oh no. oh no, okay, okay. So we have to put all these shapes back out of here in the blind oh, You ready? Yeah. Let's see how well we could do this. I'm gonna go on the right side. Whoa, this is so much harder. I don't know. I got it, don't worry. Oh my god, this is so hard. Wait. I think I'm gonna try doing the things together first. Oh my gosh, they're I all think, weird. I think I could do it. We should have looked at the pieces first. I got one. Yeah, I got it. one. Feel it. They're together. Yeah, I got one too. I like don't even know what I'm looking for. Like, <gasps> I think it fit. Like this is like a. <gasps> I got one. one. Don't move it. It's on the board. I got one on the board too. Okay. Matching them up together first helped me. It doesn't help me. <laughs> this Hold is on. so much harder. Oh, I got another one. Yeah, I think I got one. I got one in my hand. Okay. All right. Now I gotta no, find it. I gotta find it on the board. It's like a circle. Oh, Just, it fit. You got two. Yeah. There's one more circle. Two. There's two more circles. What? I don't know what this is. No, this might be what I need. Mm. Oh, there we go. We need oh my god, this circles. is so hard. This one is circular. There's two circles. I think I got one. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Never mind. I got this. Hold on. I just messed up something. I think we messed up. I think we messed up big time. Um, I think Where's I got the other it. Stuff? This is so much harder than you think. All right, all right. I think I got it. You think it's all done? I think. Should I we check? It. Should we check? Yeah. yeah Should yeah. we wait? No, oh no. my God, we were so. These. We got this. Look, we got these ones. Ah, we only had one wrong. We were so close. But look at that. 
<laughs> that is definitely harder than it looks. Yeah, it was. Two hours later. All right, so we just finished up, and unfortunately we couldn't have the camera in there, but that's okay. It was truly an incredible experience. Oh my god, and it was I, so amazing. If you guys are near any of these Dining in the Dark uh, yeah, experiences, yeah. you have to For do sure, it. Yeah. They are so, so cool. The workers here are actually all like either blind, blind or visually impaired. Yes. Like, yeah, the waiters, yeah. they they basically like, um, like we walked through the door and like we had to put our hands on their shoulders and they just walked, yeah. like guided us to our seats and it was yes. pitch black. Pitch black. Couldn't see anything. Like, I feel like my eyes were hallucinating. Yes, yeah. for sure, yeah. As soon as we sat down, it's it's just a regular table yep. with your silverware and your napkins. He just told us where things were. And then we started off with appetizers. Appetizer, yeah. And they had like four four different types of appetizers. Yes. And you just, you start by going like counterclockwise to eating everything. Yep. And it was just so cool. It was cool, yeah. So after the appetizers, we had uh, soup. Yes. We had a couple soups. Yep. And Two then soups. we had the main course. There was yep. three main courses. Yep. And then we had desserts. Yeah. There was five desserts. It was so much food, but it was like the perfect amount yeah, for you to like. Yeah, it was a small portion. Like, yeah, not to get overly full. We definitely are stuffed, yeah, but for like, sure. but not like, oh my god, halfway yeah, through like, we can't finish. We can't move. And it was just something about not knowing what you were eating yeah. was so exciting. It was so. Cool. And I don't think we've ever talked so much during a meal. No, too, for sure. Because yeah. you just—that's all you can do. You yeah. can't see anything, but true. you can just talk about what you're eating. That's true. So yeah. we did guess everything that we ate. We did. And the yeah. first thing that we ate. We think is watermelon, watermelon and feta cheese, feta cheese, and then peeled grapes. That was, I think, the first appetizer. Oh, my eyes are still adjusting to the light. But so let's check the book and see what the first thing was. Oh my, oh my god. god, it was oranges. Orange, watermelon, tomatoes. I thought salad, it was green. Feta cheese. I thought it was peeled grapes. We were, so much. we were so close. We were close. Oh my god, tomato. Yeah. I would not have guessed tomato. Oh. We were close though. Okay, and then the second thing we tasted, yeah, we yeah, thought yeah. it was like a spring roll. Yes, yes. And um, okay, yeah. yeah, we knew it was, I, was I had no idea what the spring roll was filled with. But, yeah. but it's like one of those like rice paper wraps. That's what it tasted like. Yep. And it looks like that's what it, what it is. Seems right? essentially, yeah. Yeah, we didn't know what the fruits or vegetables were inside of it. And apparently it was sesame seeds and homemade plum sauce. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was really good. And then the next- We got that uh, wrong. Ah, we did. The next thing we thought was like a smoked tofu or smoked yeah. sausage and zucchini. We got the zucchini yeah. right. It was actually wow. grilled zucchini and turkey ham. Romesco sauce. Romesco sauce. Okay. Man. I mean, we kind of had it right with a smoky meat. Yeah, yeah. But we just didn't we know close. what it was. It was really, really good, by the way. Everything that so we good. ate was so good. Yeah. And I feel like our taste buds were like amplified. For sure, yeah. Because That's we, didn't we couldn't know. see you. Yeah, we, we were just, yeah, we couldn't see. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't remember what we thought it was. Tim. That was the banana. No. Yes. Oh, oh my, my god, god, this last one. So we thought we were eating a fried banana or fried plantain because totally it, it, it was felt fried like banana. Yeah. And it was actually duck and make a vegetable. Uh, oh my god. And apricot sauce. With a bean curd roll. <laughs> so we were way off. That was the first time we had duck. <laughs> yeah, it was. And we've never had duck before never ever. Had duck, yeah. I, I did not even know there was meat in there. I didn't either. It tastes like a banana. Yeah, it tastes just like a banana. Okay, so that was it for the appetizers. Wow, I thought we for sure nailed the appetizers. We were wrong. Hey. We were so wrong about the soup. So the soups, we thought there was a cold one, yeah. and we, we thought it was a cucumber soup, and it is a cucumber soup. Kind of. It's a gazpacho soup with tomato, Japanese cucumber, and basil leaf. We didn't know exactly what it was, but we just knew there was cucumber in there. Yeah. And, and then, then the second one we thought was the cream of mushroom. Yeah. Because it tasted just like mushroom, but it was a winter melon and a butternut squash soup. So. That, we loved that it too. It was so good, yeah. We literally thought it, t it tasted just like cream of mushroom. God, we were so it didn't wrong. even have, it was literally winter, winter melon. Yeah. Winter melon and <laughs> butternut squash soup. What? <laughs> we got the ma first main course right. <gasps> yes, we did. We knew that the first main yeah. course, which was our favorite thing, by oh, the it was way. So, good. so it was a curry s salmon. Yep. You could taste that immediately. Yep, yep. But then the next thing was, um, we thought it was like an Alfredo pasta. Oh, that's right. And it was, it's a pumpkin rigatoni with sage what? butter sauce. Pumpkin rigatoni. We knew it was like a cream sauce, but we had no idea it had sage pumpkin in it. Sauce. Happy Father's Day. Yes. Oh, thank oh, you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So they actually gave us a free gift because it's Father's Day. Timmy, yeah. what'd you get? 
Oh my god, it's a blindfold! Oh, it is. <laughs> That's so cute! Is that a ninja turtle? <laughs> just looks like an angry face. <laughs> That's so cute! Now you have your own sleepy shades on the airplane. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. There you go. Look at that! He's gonna be sleeping in style now. <laughs> See you guys later. The next thing that we ate, we totally thought this was pot roast because it tasted yeah, a lot did. like it. At first, I said lamb, but you were like, yeah. no, no, I thought it was beef. beef for sure. Yeah, I and then I started believing it was beef too. It tasted just like beef. But it was roasted leg of lamb, mixed vegetables with Irish barley stew. Huh. It was so good. It was very good. It was extremely filling. Yeah, it, as soon as we ate that, we were like, I, that's we're it. Full right we're full. Away. Yeah. And then dessert. comes dessert. Oh my god, we were wrong. We thought this was a mango sherbet, the first dessert, and it's a green apple and avocado sherbet. We literally thought it was mango. It and tasted it was, just like mangoes. I did not taste the avocado at all. I didn't taste the green apple. That's wow. so funny. I didn't even taste that either. Oh, okay, right. so the next thing we thought was was like fried mochi. Oh my god, we did it. And it was actually deep fried nin ninko. ninko. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. But it's deep fried mochi because we were right. Deep fried. It might have been something similar. We just thought it was, I, which I don't yeah. even know if deep fried mochi is a thing. It might not but be. <laughs> that's just what the we texture. We knew it was deep fried. The texture, that's what it tasted yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. The, sec the next thing was mixed fruit cake, which I guessed right. You did, yeah. I knew it was a fruit cake because I could taste that. We thought the next one was rice pudding, but we couldn't pick out the other flavors. Yeah, there was definitely something in there. We were guessing some, something like mushroom yeah. or truffle or something. Yeah, it's a black glutinous rice stewed with dried Long gan and gulu melka drizzled with salted satan. So we still don't know what it is. Yeah, nope. <laughs> but that was everything that we ate. Honestly, that we was got a decent amount, right? That was so much, honestly. Yeah, totally was, worth the money. It is oh a little God, pricey, yeah. but it's more for the experience. Yeah, and, for sure. And this would be a great thing to take anybody to that you just want to treat to a special, unique experience. Yeah. Very, very cool. Especially if you don't want to see them. <laughs> and then also, it does put you in the perspective of somebody that is visually impaired, and it helps you yeah, like see. see what they go see through. See what they go through, and struggles. it is hard. Like that, yeah. they're like they have like a superpower oh, to sure. be able yeah. to do those things, and just yeah, I we have so much more respect for them for sure yeah. after this experience. Yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah, I would be terrified if I couldn't see like that. Yeah. Was had to like maneuver my way around. Yeah. It was definitely way better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It also helped like uh, like make you enjoy your food more than yes, for like because sure. when you stare at your food like I mean it's just a different. Uh, you eat with your eyes first. Yeah, it's a different ex it's a different experience yeah. for sure. So. Even if you are like a picky eater, it might surprise you like what you what you actually are into and what you're not into when you can't see it. <laughs> Now we're gonna go back home to our little girl because yes, we miss yes. her. Yes. <laughs> and we will probably see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Bye. Good morning, everybody. We are going to start our second day off with a fun picnic day. We found a uh, cool park by the Twin Towers. We're gonna go stop at the grocery store and pick up a couple of items that we need to complete our picnic. And then we're gonna head to the park. But yeah, so we're gonna head there now. So we've gotten all of our supplies for our picnic, but we unfortunately don't have a blanket. So we are just <laughs> working with what we got, which is our backpack. We're just going to be picking out things from there. We're using nature's blanket. Yeah. The grass. Yeah. Um, but we found this spot that's super cute right in front of these the Petronas Towers right behind us here. And then we've got this adorable fountain with um, a whale. Is that a whale? It is, yeah. And a couple of dolphins right there. And then we've got little play splash pad looking thing. It's so cool. It's like a whole thing of waterfalls and you can go in there and get wet to cool you off. So that's really, really cool. And then there's a playground in the back that Ruby will just be playing at in a little bit. Yeah, but with my baby. Because yes. I bought um, one of my toy babies with me today because she loves parks and today's her birthday and she's two years old now. Yeah. But it is a very beautiful day and um, it is pretty sunny and hot in the sun, but in the shade it's surprisingly very nice. Yeah, it feels nice. So we're just going to enjoy our little picnic and yeah. We're ready to eat y'all. Her baby. Mm -hmm. She's 
Jasmine with her baby now. So we're back in a Muslim country, which is extremely cool because every time it's time to pray, you get to hear the call to prayer and uh, makes it extremely convenient to pray on time. It's extremely cool to hear it. Makes it feel more like home, I guess. It's a good feeling. There's actually a huge mosque right um, off of this park too, which is extremely convenient because Ruby loves this place. But there's like so many, so many different like playground things here. There's probably 20 different like sections of this playground. <laughs> so we just made it back to our Airbnb and Ruby played her heart out today. We are super exhausted because we've been in the sun all day long. So I think we're gonna end it here. Um, not much else to do today. Yeah, so we're just gonna relax, cool down. But if you like this video and wanna see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give us a like and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.